Hey there guys, Raj here, hope all of you guys are well. Today, a bit of a change of pace, I'm not doing a fragrance related video, this is a fashion video where I'm going to be showing you all the things that I've picked up since uh, the last video I did, which is a few months ago, and if you haven't checked that one out, all you need to do is go to playlists and uh, click on fashion and you'll see that video there and a couple of others also. And um, yeah, I think it's a cool sort of, as I said, a change of pace, something a little bit different on my channel. And um, hopefully some of you guys find this interesting and maybe can relate, maybe get some ideas as well. So I've got a couple of jackets in here. I've got a jumper and I've got some shirts also, which are hopefully are going to be good for the upcoming um, warmer weather. Definitely holiday shirts, that's for sure. So um, let's just get straight into the first item. Oh, actually, before I do, all the names of the stuff that I've bought are in down below in the description box. And also along with a timestamp if you wanted to sort of like flick between... Uh, all the different items. So without any further ado, let's get into item number so The one. first thing to show is this green uh, wool, and, wool uh, bomber jacket, which is from the brand Richard James, who are a Savile Row tailor. They also do ready to wear items and the quality is really nice. Um, here it is on the hanger. So it's got these two uh, pockets here, which are definitely like a generous size, and you can fit your fit your hand in through there, so to keep your hands nice and warm. It's got this green bottle green quilted lining, uh, which is not filled with anything, but it definitely kind of keeps you warm. And I quite like this green trim that you have along the sleeves, and uh, you've got these cool details here on the shoulder where it's like slightly opens up. Um, allowing for a bit more ease of movement. So this is really going to be good for like winter time or well autumn sort of winter depending on how cold it gets. And here it is on body. So here it is on, here it is on body. Uh, definitely is I wouldn't say it's a slim fit, but it's definitely cut slightly closer to the skin uh, or to the body. And uh, only thing I would say with this jacket is that I feel like the sleeves are slightly shorter than. I would prefer, um, but you know, I bought this from TK Maxx, I got it for a good price. I was looking for something very, very similar to this, something kind of smart, casual in between that, you know, and it fits the build nicely. Also, uh, I quite like the pop of color. Uh, one thing I've noticed in, Lo in London, I don't know if it, how it is around the world, but definitely in London, um, a lot of people in the colder weather tend to wear more muted, like your blacks and your greys and like dark navies. But I think this is nice to add a bit of a, a bit of pop of color to your wardrobe in the sort of darker, colder months. And uh, you can also zip it up. And there you go. If you want to pop the hood, uh, pop, the, pop the collar, uh, keep yourself nice and warm. It will. On to the next item. Next item to show you is another jacket, and I think in the UK, uh, jackets are just probably the best investments you can make when it comes to clothing. You know, we have weather where it's raining and it's very windy, and then suddenly the sun comes out and then it gets very cold. Um, and this, I wanted to get a jacket which replaced the one that I had at the moment, which is more ideal for that spring autumn weather where maybe it could be raining, it's a little bit windy, but it's not uh, cold. So I got this wax cotton jacket from Barber. Again, definitely colorful, uh, I like that. I like the fact that it's, uh, you know, I'm trying to get away from like navies and blacks, you know, it gets a bit boring sometimes. So I got this really, really lovely jacket. Picked this up from Bista Village where they have an outlet store and uh, it's, it's worth having a look at. So it's got some nice details here. Um, if I'll show you on the pockets. Barber, uh, chunky double zipper, right there, and uh, it's also got this like flap thing where you can sort of, you can like, um, kind of comes ac comes across your throat when it gets a little bit too windy, kind of like a corduroy black um, collar, and it also comes with these um, like these three vent buttons here. I don't know if you can just about make it out. And also, uh, it's it's actually double vented at the back too. So you can take that out and it's kind of almost gives the effect of um, almost like a suit jacket when you have double vents at the back. I quite like that. So here it is on body. 
This is a cool jacket. I really like it. I didn't. I wanted to get like a barber or maybe like a bell staff type jacket, um, but I didn't want to come across as like some rural farmer. You know, um, I think there's only one type of farmer actually, rural farmers. But anyway, this is cool because it is completely uh, waterproof, um, and after a while, as you use the jacket, um, it's recommended to re-wax it. So you can take that into the barber store, and they'll do that for you. Um, it's kind of got like this almost like a shine to it, like you, if you've seen wax cotton jackets, you'll know what I mean. And it's nice, I think it's nice and smart, you know, it definitely keeps the wind out really, really well. And I quite like wearing it, if I am going to zip it up, I quite like wearing it like this, I'll show you. So I'll zip up this bit, but then keep this bit slightly open, um, which is quite nice. Also, you've got um, pockets here and one on the inside. It's a great piece, definitely a great item. My first jacket from Barber, and uh, I love the color, the color as well. Had a few compliments actually on this jacket from like random strangers, which is always, which is always welcome. So there you go. Those are the two jackets. On to the next item. Okay, so next up is another item that I picked up from TK Maxx. I've mentioned it in the last fashion-related pickup video. Um, it's a cool place to shop, a little bit hard work, but you can get some good deals, especially in their gold label range, where they have um, sort of like designer brands, but at sort of more, let's just say more accessible prices. I don't want to say cheap. It's all, it's all relative at the end of the day. Never heard of this brand. This one is called Rhoda. It's an Italian brand, and this is made in Italy. Um, and I just kind of like the almost like paintbrush style effect going on here. It's uh, it's it's cotton and wool, but um, also on the inside there's like more wool. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically it's there's like it's about seventy percent wool on the inside, whereas on the outside it's almost fifty fifty between cotton and wool. And I kind of like the effect um, that it gives with this. As I said, it kind of looks like a, a, a brush stroke. I'm not going to try it on, but you can kind of get the idea. It's something a little bit different. It's a, it's a bit crazy for my style. I don't normally, um, I mean, this is definitely like a unique pattern. I don't really have haven't seen anyone wearing anything like this before. Um, like it, keeps me warm. Um, it's a nice soft to the touch jumper. And um, it's a great piece, actually. I'm going to have to look into this brand Rhoda, I do, um, I follow them on Instagram now and I think they do like tailoring and like pocket squares and stuff like that. So, a nice piece. Going on to the next four items which are all um, sort of summer shirts. Okay, so the first shirt to show you is the one I'm wearing actually. Um, I went to Bista Village where I got um, this one of the next three you're going to see. This one is like a blue, I believe, it didn't, I don't think it said on the description, but I think it's like a seersucker material. This is from Ralph Lauren. This is going to be great on holiday. I'm really looking forward to just wearing this, maybe completely unbuttoned. You know, you're just chilling by poolside. You've just had a nice barbecue, um, smoking a cigar. You know, you've got your, got your shades on. And it's a cool, sort of like nice, breathable, lightweight um, uh, shirt. You can maybe, I don't know, but you can maybe just about see the, uh, the polo logo there. Logo is... Um, doesn't really make a difference to me, to be honest. It's actually really discreet, this one. And I like the material. I'll try and get a, get a close-up without showing you, like, my underarms. But, yeah, it's kind of, like, got this kind of crinkle-style effect, which is quite nice. It's got this thing in the back, which is, um, if you can see there, I don't know what that's called. I think it's, I guess it's, a pleat which allows for ease of movement that's actually something I, I look for in shirts when you have like a pleat either sometimes here and the other side or in the middle and it allows for more movement in the back especially if you have like broader shoulders I'm not saying I'm like a hench guy or anything like that but you know it definitely helps so that is uh, that's the first shirt the next Ralph Lauren shirt you will see in a second okay next up is this uh, Ralph Lauren 100% linen it's, uh, I think it's their casual fit or their relaxed fit or something. And 100% linen, again, this is something I'll, I'll probably only wear on holidays. 
Um, it's a button down shirt just like the last one but with these types of shirts when they're buttoned down I don't want to come across as too like smart and I don't think linen really is well it can be smart but I think I just feel it's more of a relaxed thing so I leave the buttons undone roll up the sleeves a bit and again I'll probably wear this like completely undone um, and it's very nice it's a really nice material the linen feels really good it doesn't it kind of it's softer than other linens and Ralph Lauren has a habit of taking material and making it feel slightly different than what you might be used to. I bought this in a size small because right now when I've buttoned it up it is feeling a little bit closer to the body but I'm not really going to be wearing it buttoned up. It's literally I might wear like a, a striped blue t-shirt underneath and just like unbuttoned. And um, this one just screams holiday for me. Really nice quality. I like how linen will crinkle and create that nice characteristic. That um, it just it just it just makes me think of summer, really. So yeah, I like it. I really like it. Ralph Lauren, one of my favorite brands. Great quality as usual. Um, looking forward to wearing this on holiday. On to the next shirt. All right, guys. So on to the next one. And this one is a little bit crazy. Um, I have to admit, I never really had. I don't think I've ever really owned like these Hawaiian style shirts, but I really wanted to get one. This is probably not a shirt I would wear in the UK, but it's more like you're on holiday. I'm going to Portugal actually in June, so I'll, I'm, I'm going to wear it there. This is from All Saints. And this is, it's viscose, which I quite like viscose actually. It's a nice, like a nice alternative to silk. It's smooth, it floats around nicely. And you've got this... Um, Got this like sunset tree pattern it's definitely bold it's definitely out there it's definitely one of those where i might look a bit crazy if i'm walking down the streets of london wearing this shirt but um again i i would wear this unbuttoned or maybe buttoned up with a pair of shorts with a pair of you know you got some nice pair of like loafers or whatever something like that and um here it is on body typically i don't really go for uh, all saints it's not really my like aesthetic that kind of slightly rocker leather jacket kind of vibe they do some nice clothes i mean don't get me wrong i do i do like them actually but um this is actually the first thing i've picked up from all saints again i'm gonna wear it unbuttoned um and it's very floaty it's very very sort of not loose exactly but um breathable and it's got a nice amount of stretch to it feels good it's it's you know it's a cool it's a cool design i was going kind to of grabbed by the design more than anything else Quite like the buttons here, they're kind of like, I um, don't know if you'll see that, but they're kind of, not wooden, but they're kind of like that wood effect. I imagine they're plastic, but yeah, cool. Something a little bit crazy, a little bit different, but um, I like it. So on to the final shirt and the final item in this pickup video. Uh, here we go. Okay, so I've got another pretty crazy uh, pattern shirt here. This is a 100% uh, cotton shirt, very lightweight, uh, thinner, but feels really soft. Um, again, this is holiday. This is holiday wear. This is by the beach. This is by the pool. Um, I don't know if you can see the fish pattern. You can kind of see the fishes there. This is from a brand that I've looked at a few times, but I've been kind of put off by some of the prices. This is by um, I think it's pronounced Ville Brican. Ville Brican. I think so. A bit, bit difficult to pronounce. They do really cool swimming shorts. But they're expensive and I don't know if I would spend that type of money on, on, on swimming shorts to be honest but I do like this shirt and it's a long sleeve one it's a bit mad it's a bit crazy you know but it, you, when you're on holiday when the sun's shining when you've had a few had a few beers you know you're you're, you're, you're you just want to just do something you just want to add a bit of color to your wardrobe to be honest and it's better than going for like something that's just plain you know add something a pop of color a bit of character into your wardrobe so yeah, and here it is on body. Okay, so this one is a slightly looser fit. It's not, uh, I wouldn't say it's baggy, but um, maybe like semi-fitted. I don't really know how to describe it. It feels nice on my skin. It feels really soft actually, especially on the inside. Um, obviously just roll up the sleeves and you know, you don't have to sort of like roll the sleeves up perfectly. You don't have all the buttons up. It's kind of like a, almost like um, a kind of very relaxed sort of nonchalant feel about it.
feels really nice actually. Um, I do like this brand. I do like their vibrant patterns that they have. It's definitely one check worth checking out. They are a little bit on the pricier side, but again, you know, I got this from Bista Village. If you can find a good deal, it's worth going going for. So there you go, guys. Those are all the items I've picked up over the last few months. Been looking to refresh my wardrobe this year, actually. I think I've done that fairly well. Um, so I will be back with another video similar to this, probably in in the next you know next three or four months, depending on what I got, what I get. I'm looking really not necessarily to add to my wardrobe. Well, there is a little bit of that, but I'm also looking to replace a lot of the older stuff that I have um, and sort of upgrade it in terms of quality and, and my style as where I am now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my previous fashion related videos as well and let me know um, what you think about some of these things or do you know these brands or what you've picked up recently or what you're looking to get. Uh, always good to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. Check me out on Instagram and uh, subscribe here if you like what you see. Thanks again. Take care. See you soon.